this I, I just told them I'd never said anything to them before but this game too uh, the last three um, national tournaments that I've been to ha ha weird stuff has happened I mean it really has we went in 2007 I think we played the uh, eventual national championship or champion and got robbed of a three-run home run on a short fence 2009 we had a first and third in the extra innings and uh, we've got a call you know to just throw it back to picture and it ends up not back to the pitcher and, and we get beat one to nothing 2010 uh, we played North Georgia right here, or 2009, I guess, was here. And just uh, weird stuff happened, and we ended up losing that one in nine innings. So I was kind of having deja vu there at one point, and I'm just proud of these kids for, for finding a way to win that thing. You know, that was a gut check. You know, hats off to, to West Virginia Wesleyan. What an outstanding game they played. They never quit. But I'm just happy that my kids never quit either. And and uh, Morgan was phenomenal in relief. Courtney had a great day. and. And uh, just a huge win. Nine questions. Um, Courtney, West Virginia Wesleyan just seemed like they had a response every time. You guys would score, they would score and tie it. And finally, you guys scored and they didn't score. Just how nice was it to just finally shut them down? Um, it was it was a huge relief. It really was. I mean, I had trust in our team the whole time. I was confident the whole time. Never had doubt in us. Um, I knew we had it. We just had to pull through, and we did. And that's what trust is with a team. Morgan, uh, if you could talk a little bit about uh, the game from your perspective, and I, I guess I don't know what you're coming in. It seemed like the game was a blur to you. I mean, 12 innings, just from your perspective. Um, well, I have a hard time remembering what happens anyway. I try and <laughs> erase it and move on to the next pitch. But, um, oh gosh, what a win. Um, all the glory goes to God. I mean, there's no, no way that we could have done this um, without that. Um, I'm just, I'm glad that God um, worked it through and we strung hits together where we needed to. We worked together. Um, Danae Bina, there were several times where she said, let's take one inning, at, where Coach Scott said, let's take one inning at a time. And Danae would kind of set a goal for us. Okay, we're going to score one, in, one run this inning. And we would, if we didn't do it, it's fine. We just move on to the next inning and hold them and try it again. But trying to set one goal for each inning was kind of what we had to amount to, just take it one inning at a time. Coach Scott, and obviously winning this game is huge because then all you really have to do is win one more game to get to the uh, championship. Yeah, it's big, and we only have to play one game tomorrow, you know, win or lose. But, you know, looking at the bracket, we got our work cut out for us. You know, we're going to play the either – I can't make predictions, can I? We're going to play uh, the loser of this Minnesota State uh, Armstrong game, and we know both of those teams are really good. We played Armstrong at the beginning of the year in Florida and was able to win that game 4-1, to one, but uh, we know they have a very talented team. And then Minnesota State's had a phenomenal year. Their pitcher's having a great season. But, uh, you know, Hannah Vett, that kid's good. You know, for, for West Virginia Wesleyan, she had a, she's had an outstanding year. But we went out in six innings and had nine hits and four earned runs on her, and I think she has a .83 earned run. So, you know, our kids have responded to every challenge thrown at them this year, and, and they really had a big challenge ahead of them today and stepped up. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we've got more left in us and they'll find a way to beat whoever we have. But, man, it was just such a luxury knowing that we only have to play one day, one game tomorrow because it's starting to get, you know, where you can build up some games if you get in that loser's bracket. Tony, go ahead. Take us to the end battle um, I mean, I was overwhelmed. It's hard to explain if you haven't personally done it yourself. It's overwhelming. It's very nice and like a relief again. But um, it was just nice to be able to go up there and provide for uh, my teammates. Morgan, you, know, you mentioned that Danae just encouraged you guys a lot through this game. But how about the crowd? We always talk about how ASU is such a good crowd, but just it seemed like Behind oh, absolutely. The crowd is always behind us. We have great fans, great parents, um, people that travel as far as they did to come to Virginia to watch us play. I mean, that's pretty awesome to have people come and fill stands for us. Um, just the environment, it, I've said it before, it fuels us as players. And I mean, we just, we love having the support from San Angelo and our parents. Coach, I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah, there's nobody that felt worse uh, than her after that. And, you know, I know it looked really bad. 
when uh, I pull her right after that, but that's something that we've done a lot this year. Uh, Madison's a great player, but she doesn't have the strongest arm, and Megan Gordon is, has a really good arm. So we've done that all year when we get that winning run out there on second base that we bring uh, Megan Gordon in because she has the better arm in case there's a base hit, you know, and we need her to throw. So I know it looked as if I was pulling her because she dropped it, and that's not the case. I was pulling her because uh, I wanted my better arm out there uh, in left field. But yeah, she came back, and you know, first of all, Brooke Mango, man, what a huge triple out of your nine hole. And then Madison stepped up and just kept her a great demeanor about her and, and got the lead back for us that right there. And, you know, she works hard. She's done an outstanding job and it's over with. You know, she's she's gotten so much better as an outfielder. It's over with. You know, we, we rolled the dice uh, in a couple of situations and got away with it. Uh, and then we rolled the dice in a couple of situations and didn't get away with it. And uh, that's what I told them there about the 85th inning, whatever it was. I said, hey, we've gambled and got away with it, and we haven't gambled, or we've gambled and didn't get away with it. It's up to y'all now. We got to go back to fundamental, you know, fundamental softball, and you guys just go out and win it. But uh, you know, Danae did a great job on the on the bunt there uh, with two outs and uh, and a runner at third to give us a give us a, or tied it up, I guess, or gave us the lead. I don't even remember now. I really don't. But uh, just a back and forth game. Hats off to Texas or Texas Wesleyan, West Virginia Wesleyan. <laughs> because that uh, is the first time we played them and I don't look forward to playing them anymore. Well, so I guess, I guess the big question would be after a game, like just what do you do? I mean, you're 12 innings. <laughs> we grab a little food and we go home and, and you know, we've told them get back to the rooms, uh, shower and, and, and rest. And, you know, families want to be with them and all that and they're going to have a little bit of time here, but we, we need the families just to understand that we're here for a bigger goal and they can go have dinner with them later tonight. But right now, uh, they're going back to the room and they're going to shower and, and, and take advantage of the fact that we're the first game of the day and we've got time on our side now. And then uh, later on tonight, they can go out and eat with their families and enjoy enjoy that. But, uh, you know, the coaching staff will stay around and watch a little bit, but I'm exhausted myself. So uh, some food in the shower sounds pretty good right now.